Hey, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, and today I'm talking about the new Peepo pickleball net. It's a portable net, regulation size, and I'm very thankful that I got the opportunity to unbox this and review it for you. We'll switch to the B-roll of me unboxing it and setting it up with my assistant, Kayla. Thank you very much for your help, Kayla. And I'll also have some B-roll there of some play with it and then once we're done with that i'll come back and give you my final thoughts on this net okay so it comes over boxed and we're working to get that open here very well packaged we get it open and the actual packaging for the box itself is in there very good packaging taped up a lot and we're having a little trouble there so kayla goes off and gets her keys but I get it opened up by the time she gets back and we slide it out. It slides out real easily and the net and the instructions are right on top there. And then there's a little plastic divider in the middle, all the individual pipes themselves and then the bag. So we toss all that aside and start assembling. The powder coating looked real good. It didn't look inconsistent or anything like that. If you're familiar with setting up portable nets like this, you can usually get through this pretty quickly without having to consult the instructions. Everything's numbered so you know where it goes. So I am putting in the bottom the first bottom support there that kind of slopes up and we're just kind of looking through and seeing what the numbered pipes are to figure out which way to go and then I grab an upright pipe which is where the, the net's going to go on and we get right to it here the the pins for holding the pipes in place are really firm and I think that's the case with most of these. They're going to wear out over time. But as you can see here, assembly is pretty fast. I've doubled the speed on this video, so two people can set this up in a few minutes. It won't take long at all, just like a lot of these nets. So Kayla's unrolling the net now as we're getting ready to put it on here making sure everything's lined up correctly. She's got the net on her end, stretching it out, making sure it's facing the right way. And I'm noticing that, oh, I got it flipped over, so I flip it back over again, and I slide it down. That's a pretty common thing with these nets, is figuring out which way it goes. A quick tip for when you're disassembling these is just to leave those upright pipes in place and roll it up. That helps a lot. So we're having a little trouble here figuring out, as I'm picking things up, Kayla's having a little trouble figuring out where that little center support goes in. It doesn't look like there's a slot there. So I take a look at it real quick, and then I finally find it, and we get the, we get the pipe in there, or the stick in there. I don't know, what do you call it? A stick, pipe? I've always had trouble figuring that out. So I went back and checked the instructions and saw where exactly on the bottom that that little slot is supposed to be. Kayla's tightening up the net. He uses Velcro straps. They're pretty nice and uh, look, look pretty good. So we find the slot and put that center support in. These can be a little tricky sometimes. You gotta make sure you get it all the way up. Sometimes they don't always want to go through that larger seam at the top. So we get it set in place and kind of line everything up there to make sure it's straight, it's tight, and the net is sitting over the frame the way that it should be. And once we're done with that, we are ready to play some pickleball.
So of all the things I've reviewed from New Peepo, this net so far is the best thing that I've reviewed. I've been wanting to get a net for a while, and this one came at just the right time. It is the beginning of February and it's very cold, but spring will be here soon, and sometimes it takes a while for them to get the nets up out on the courts near where I live, so I'll be able to bring this to me and play with my friends and family. In addition to that, I can use this on my driveway. Even though my driveway is not perfectly flat, it's good for having at the house and setting up on the driveway. You can dink over it, set up some lines on the driveway and mess around with it. If your local gym has some ragged out nets, pick up one of these and bring it with you and folks will appreciate it. The thing I like the most about it is the Velcro straps for setting it up and also that center piece is very thick for holding the net in place. A lot of more expensive nets have a very thin rod in the middle, which I don't really, really care for as much. And a lot of times, if you don't have Velcro straps, you have the other straps that use uh, friction and tension. And a lot of people don't know how to use those correctly to adjust the net. We had no problems adjusting the tension on the net and making sure that it was set up correctly. So until next time, if you're looking for a net, pick this one up. I'm John, your Gen X grandpa, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.